Cool guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see, this is a pretty crazy backdrop. This is not a wallpaper. This is not a green screen. This is literally our apartment. Our Airbnb right now is directly right off the harbor, which is fucking incredible. If you guys have a quick look, there's a harbor bridge. Then we have the Sydney Opera House over there. So currently in Australia right now back in my hometown of sydney so i was born and raised in sydney and um i'm currently live coming out here for a few for like a week or so um so i'm not here for too long but it's been crazy but anyways let's get to the video this is like the updated tiktok methods the updated tiktok sops obviously things change in the space over case of a few weeks do you know what i mean and trends are always coming in things are continuously always always changing that's why i basically try to create youtube content that's pretty up to date with the current strategies that we're using right so i only document what we're directly using to get results for our model so tiktok sops tiktok right now is by far over 60 percent of our total subs uh, for our models right now we average anywhere between 80 to 150 sometimes 200 220 subs per day i know i posted a video a few weeks ago about a month ago on uh how we reach 178 paid subs in a day we've actually bet like topped that to be honest with you when i hit like 300 subs per day paid that's when I'm going to like create a new video documenting that. But yeah, just over uh, 200 subs per day now with that particular model. And it is pretty much heavily coming from TikTok. So this is why I like guys think I use dating apps. I probably don't help myself by posting some of the stuff that I'll do on, on my stories. Again, it's me just more documenting my, my journey in, in a nutshell. But um, TikTok is by far 60% of our paid subscribers right now for our models. And it's at an incredible place right now where we can actually film TikToks from our own side without requiring the model. And we get hundreds of thousands of views every single day. So these are the TikTok SOPs that we're currently using at the agency. And this is how we generate over a million views per day for our models across multiple of their accounts or multiple millions of views, let's just say, right? So first thing first, what you want to do is have a phone set up with a US SIM card and have that attached to Wi-Fi. You don't need proxies, you don't need VPNs. That's just from my personal experience. Some people do talk about it. I have never used proxies or VPNs for TikTok specifically. It has been absolutely fine, to be honest, for me. And um, and they still run in the USA accounts as well, right? Which is crazy. As I said, I'm currently in Sydney and I am looking to pick up a few uh, Australian SIM cards and I'm going to test out the Australian market even further. It's a bit more difficult over here in Australia. Every time you buy a SIM card, you have to kind of show your passport and shit. Very, very weird. But I'm going to buy like 10 SIM cards or something whilst I'm out here go to different shops, different locations, and uh, run Australian TikTok accounts for our UK-based models and even our US-based models. And we're just gonna see like how that performs in a nutshell, do you know what I mean? But once you have that, you just basically need like the US SIM card that we're using in a phone, on one phone, one device. You can have around five TikTok accounts per phone, per device, um, which means like you can run multiple pieces of content at scale, all driving traffic towards like the Instagram page for your model, right? Now, one thing I will say, guys, is I've noticed when we go, so each, right now, each of my models have anywhere between 15 to 25 sub TikTok accounts per model, right? We call these slaves. Mother slave method on TikTok is what we've been doing basically, right? And we'll have 15 to 20 accounts set up for the model. Obviously accounts get banned all the time, shadow ban, etc. Shadow bans typically happen after like week two of the account being live, but within the first day, we're getting we're getting over 100k views. Do you know what I mean? 200k views, 300k views. And that just come from the repetition. There's a thing going around right now on TikTok. I'm sure you guys would be, be aware of it um, for the flash trends. Flash trends right now has made life like amazing for us as marketers because we can essentially film the TikTok videos itself without needing the model to be there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll literally go around film like a bookcase, desk of drawers, fish tank. You can film literally anything, right? And you'll film it. You make sure you use the associated sound with the flash trends because that's what these sim like here when they're obviously looking at um, TikToks for OF models and you'll see that I will literally film the bookcase or film something random and then put a quick flash of the model and then go back to filming whatever I was filming. So it's some models do completely full show, full body in that. Some do topless. There's loads of different ways you can do it. I just do like lingerie pictures on my models. Um, it's typically what they've posted on the Instagram already. So it's nothing too crazy. But that bit of skin on TikTok triggers something for these simps online, right? And they absolutely love it. And any video will get 
you know, if a video is getting less than like 20, 30K views, um, I'm like kind of thinking what the hell's going on. So these videos do really, really well with numbers. We've hit up to like 1.5 million on one of our videos for those models. And I'll do this and I've hired specific university students and college students around the US and, and within the UK to replicate this for me. So you can imagine we have five TikTok accounts per phone. If I just bring on more people and I pay them a pretty decent fee to help me out with that. And they'll base create these flashing trends for all my models across their phones and in their US SIM cards, for example. And it does really well for us. That's how we generate a lot of our subscribers. So um, yeah, you just that's just me kind of thinking outside of the box and thinking how can I like triple, quadruple scale this. There are some softwares out there that you can use that um, may help with like this, but I've noticed straight account bans, straight shadow bans, haven't had the best of experience with like testing mass automations with TikTok. Maybe there's software out there that I don't know, but I don't do it. I just do everything manually right now within TikTok and it's getting us great results, making a lot of money. Everyone is happy and everyone is scaling. So one more thing to also add in is warming up essentially your TikTok accounts actually have a pretty good impact, right? Now warming up TikTok accounts, I've noticed does help with showing your content to like people that like similar content to you. Right, so let's say if I'm going through my TikTok, I create a brand new TikTok account. I'll typically create on a browser, sign up and sign in by the browser, get the text, email verification, whatever it is. And then I'll move across to the TikTok app on the phone that I'm using. And then I will go ahead and um, start warming up the accounts. How I warm up the accounts is, or well, I'll teach people to warm up the accounts, is go ahead, liking, commenting, adding to favorites, engaging with different people in that OF niche itself. So I'm using flashing trends. Anyone that's posting flashing trends, I will go ahead and create and like, comment, all, all, those, all that kind of content right once your for you page is basically full of of creators that's when it's a good time to post sometimes it takes 20 minutes sometimes it takes like 30 minutes 40 minutes um but that's like when it's a good time to start posting that's typically when the uh, tiktok account is like warmed up let's just say right so that's when i'll typically start to post but um yeah that's essentially how we warm up and then once the account's warmed up maybe every day or every two days just go ahead like comment and engage with like the for you page to make sure that you're continuously seeing um, of creators on your for you page that's very very important right and that what that does is basically shows TikTok what content you're into and it shows your content to those people that are interested in similar content to that. So that is a little bit of source, a little bit of game on the TikTok side of things. Guys, nothing too crazy to be honest with you. It's just really just thinking outside the box and testing loads of different variables, right? That's all this game is at the end of the day. So short, sweet, direct. This is me from Australia. It's actually currently winter right now. Um, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a video on like how I'm managing my agency whilst I'm traveling. Maybe I'll make that in the next video, but you can see here like guys, it is incredible vibes. I'm literally making money whilst traveling. Obviously the time zones are very, very difficult, but um, no, it's, it's amazing to be honest with you. Like obviously you see the view is phenomenal, right? But yeah, TikTok SOPs, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy my type of content and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.